Welcome to your unconventional commencement. Greetings to everyone, students, families and friends, FIT faculty, staff and administration, and other distinguished guests. I am Dr. Giacomo Oliva, Vice President for Academic Affairs, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome all of you to this very special virtual event in celebration of the members of FIT's graduating class and the completion of their associate and baccalaureate degrees. We wish that we could be with you here today in person to share these joyous proceedings, for they underscore the importance of higher learning and mark a significant milestone in our students' education. Nonetheless, we are thankful that through the power of technology, we are able to come together virtually to recognize and congratulate our graduates for all that they have accomplished. We sincerely hope that you enjoy our commencement ceremony today. Commencement is about the future and we are celebrating the start of a new phase in all of your lives as holders of well-earned FIT degrees. Commencement is also about the past, as you follow in the footsteps of graduates before you. And now we proceed with one of FIT's commencement traditions, the transfer of colors. The Fashion Institute of Technology was founded in 1944 during World War II by individuals of great vision. It began in borrowed space with borrowed equipment, but, one item of its own was an American flag. The flag has been handed down as a visible demonstration of the way each class touches the next in a never-ending chain. And as we honor the American flag, so too we honor the flags of all countries as represented by the flag of the United Nations, as tribute to the diversity of our community and the world. FIT is a public institution that serves many among the most important are the people of New York State. Our flag is a deep blue. Our students will transfer from one class to the other the colors of the state of New York. The city of New York is also served by this great institution. The city's Dutch heritage is identified by the colors of its flag, orange, white, and blue. Our students will now transfer from one class to the other, the colors of the city of New York. The flag that remains is FIT's. It is blue, symbolizing aspiration, dedication, and achievement. It represents the faith in education with a purpose that was held by the founders of this college with great pride. We conclude this traditional ceremony by asking our students to transfer from one class to the other, the colors of the Fashion Institute of Technology of the State University of New York. Madam President, the colors have been transferred. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. The past year and a half has not been easy as we live through moments in history, such as the pandemic, the Black Lives Matter movement, virtual schooling, the Stop Asian Hate movement, and many more, you persisted through and discovered the silver linings of being virtual. You coped with being away from family and friends, you found employment in a scarce job market, and for some, you managed to stay sane being at home. These are a few of many victories you may have encountered, and I hope they remind you all how strong you are. The former SGA president, Sally Haas, once said, you are not a student first, but a human being. After today, some of you may not be students, but remember that you are not a job, 
you are not a service. You are a human being and your feelings are always validated. Reflect, forgive, and rest because you deserve it. We are all unique people from different walks of life and I encourage you to listen to understand others. Hate and bigotry are not accepted here and not accepted for any reason. Protect your neighbors and check in with your friends and family. You never know what battle people are going through. It's okay not to be okay, but always remember that you have the power to create your reality. Thank you to all the families and everyone at FIT for believing in us, and I wish nothing but the best for everyone. Thank you. As the president of the Faculty Senate, and on behalf of all the faculty of the Fashion Institute of Technology, congratulations. You have not only graduated from an incredible institution, but you have done so in one of the most unusual times in the history of FIT. You persevered not only with the numerous and challenging tasks that normally comprise a degree, but with everything extra that the world could throw at you as well. For this reason, we the faculty know and are completely certain that success will follow you wherever you go. Congratulations again. Greetings to the class of 2021. Before joining you at FIT, I had a career as an MRI technologist. After a decade in the medical field, I accepted that my passion is not peering into the human body. My passion is to adorn it. There are many reasons to choose stability over a dream. I lived in Fairbanks, Alaska. I had an established career. And cover your ears, parents, I had benefits in our 401k. I gave up my known world for a dream, a dream with a cloudy lining. What if I'm not good at fashion design? What if I don't like it? My spouse heard all of my fear-fueled resistance but he also knew of my love of design and he asked me, don't you deserve a chance to find out? He assured me that failure is a perfectly acceptable outcome. Our worthiness is not contingent on succeeding. We are worthy even when we fall short, but settling is unforgivable. Congratulations class of 2021. Have a fantastic life and career. Don't settle for less. Congratulations, class of 2020 and class of 2021. This is your own very glorious day. This may not be the commencement that you dreamed of, but in no way does the lack of traditional ritual take away from your achievement. Naturally, you didn't arrive at FIT wanting to be known as the classes of COVID-19, but perhaps there's another way to look at it. Last year, in a commencement speech that he delivered in Ohio, Tom Hanks called you the chosen ones. Chosen because you chose to succeed. You chose to complete your choice of studies. You chose in the face of an unimaginable fate to graduate, and here you are. You walked through that storm and you claimed your place and you found your voice, and indeed this is your day. And though the pandemic will forever be part of your identity, there's something else, something more important that distinguishes you. In your time with us, the world, the country, and our campus as well, became the canvas for some of the era's most difficult, divisive issues. Racism and bigotry of every description, gun violence, immigration, police brutality, climate change. And you looked at the violence and the bigotry and the destruction of the environment in the face and in ways that cannot be misinterpreted or ignored. You said no. You raised your voice, you rallied, you protested and petitioned, 
You put your elected officials and your FIT professors, all the administrators, and me as well, on notice and demanded change. Fairness, equity, diversity, respect. You became change agents for a world in desperate need of repair. You give me hope for a better future. However, now you face more choices as you step into the careers that you prepared for at FIT and life, real life, takes over. How are you going to nurture your sense of purpose? As you start to grow and build new families and friendships and new experiences shape your perspectives, what values will you hold dear and continue to fight for? What will be your North Star? Well, my bet is on you. In times of unprecedented peril, you chose the light and proved that you have the power to make a difference. So class of 2020 and class of 2021, I will be watching as you make your mark. And I want to wish you much success and Godspeed. And now I am thrilled to be able to introduce your commencement speaker and the recipient of the 2021 President's Award for Creative Excellence. I suspect that this is a woman who needs no introduction. She's an actress, a singer, a producer, a director, an entrepreneur. I bring you Tracy Ellis Ross. FIT! Classes of 2020 and 2021, woo -hoo! I am so honored to be your commencement speaker this year and oh, how I wish we were together in person celebrating this powerful, beautiful moment in your lives. And also so that I could see what great outfits you all would have chosen to wear under your cap and your gowns. But honestly, there's pretty much no one else that I would rather be with than a group of creators and innovators I think you all are doing the work of angels, seriously. I have loved and treasured fashion, design, and craftsmanship from a very, very, very young age. I basically came out of the womb with two things, joy and a hankering for all things exquisitely designed, be it a doll, jewelry, a table, a building, ceramics, textiles, turnstiles, album covers, and trust me, I've seen an album cover or two in my day. I've witnessed the power of a kick-ass suit and a beaded gown, a church hat, and a great commercial. I have lost myself in way too many games of Ms. Pac-Man that I care to admit. Main titles for TV shows reside in my heart for eternity. I love a beautifully bound book, pillowcases, sheets, and French antiques, wallpaper, light fixtures, sofas, rugs, and did I mention shoes? Shoes, shoes, shoes. I have always loved shoes. I notice it all. It offers me fuel. And all of it is an integral part of my identity and self-expression. Some of you are leaving FIT as designers of toys, interiors, cars, games, and packaging, photographers, illustrators, architects, animators, and filmmakers. Some of you are on the business side of these creative industries heading into advertising, marketing or journalism, or you will become experts in art, cosmetics, home products, and textiles. So basically, you all will be making things for me. <laughs> or you will be building retail strategies or managing sustainable supply chains, which also fascinate me as someone who has launched her own beauty business, Pattern, Pattern Beauty, and is building a plane as I am flying it, so to speak. What unites everyone here graduating today is creativity. That is what brought you to FIT. You all are dream weavers, the spice rack of our lives. I can tell you from experience that we need people who are professionally bilingual, who speak both design and business, creativity and commerce. So whether you end up on the creative side or the business side of this industry, you will have an opportunity to use your talent as a gateway into changing perceptions. 
and that is vitally important. You will be telling the stories of what's happening in our lives, particularly at this inflection point that we're in right now. Fashion and design give us an opportunity to make a statement about who we are and what matters to us. So I ask you, who are you and what matters to you? Keep asking yourself that question year after year. Let your heart and your gut be your guide and be excellent at what you do. And as the great John Lewis said, you must be bold, brave and courageous and find a way to get in the way. So how will you get in the way in your own way? How will you stand for justice, freedom, equity, inclusion, choice, and safety? Because we no longer have the luxury of not being bold, brave, and courageous. Let your work comfort, inspire, offer an escape, or be a platform. People will have a piece of you, your energy, your vision, along with them at pivotal moments in their lives. So know your impact and use it wisely. I'm counting on you. What it takes to be a creative force and graduate is no small feat. And to do it now, this year, bravo! Creating in a bubble and not in community is not easy. Making a transition into virtual learning in the middle of your education, that's no joke. So I already know that you are determined. Taking that determination out with you into the world is a challenge, but knowing the education that you've had, the mentors who have guided you and the outstanding work that you've done to earn this degree, I'm absolutely sure you're gonna crush it. So please get in the way every chance you have. Go big and go bold. And I want you to know that I will be cheering you on every stilettoed step of the way. Congratulations. How's my hat? Let's make it more fluffy. Ah, oh, much better. Congratulations. Bravo, bravo. Oh, a round of applause and a standing ovation. <laughs>
Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Alexandra Garcia, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Caitlin Godoy, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Jaylene Gonzalez, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Audrey Hagen, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Jada Hairston, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Kamaya Hanna, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Kate Hedrick, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Nia Jackson, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Gabrielle Kaufman, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Grace Keller, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Michelle Lee, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Sian He Lee, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Adam Liebman, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Iona Liggins, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Kylie Gorey, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Sophia Lanez, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Daniela Lacascio, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Tyler Lormo, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Rika Marie Mantering, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts, Marin Medro, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Hi guys, my name is Marin Medro. I'm from Hazlitt, New Jersey, and I'm getting my associate's degree in Fine Arts. Ashley M. E. Z. I. Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Casey Miller, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Megan Miller, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Angel Morales, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Lutfun Nahar, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Olivia Oppenheim, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Victoria Panzella, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Ava Pullman, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Ningxin Pei, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Jada Perkins, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Ida Paravic, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Ashley Rafe, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Alyssa Rottenstraw, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Sergio Romero, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Grant Ross, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Malaya Salcedo, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. Jane Schechter, Associate in Applied Science, Fine Arts. 
Mila Schmutter. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Lindsay Sherman. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Star Smith. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Jessica Sassi Romano. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Skylar Spitaleri. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Kaylee St. Angelo. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Callista Steiner. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Madeline Tail DeLone. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Brooke Telleff. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Cassandra Tureski. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Thomas Vazquez. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Alisa Voritnikova. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Malachi Wade. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Tin Suan Wong. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Jonathan Wellen. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Isis Wilson. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. John Walcott. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Kylie Wu. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Harry Wyatt. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Samala Shatani. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Huayran Zhang. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Dashian Zhao. Associate in Applied Science. Fine Arts. Christine Abraham. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Abigail Aguilar. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Medina Alasultanova. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Donna Burawa. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Eric Kerrigan. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Eva Castro. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Shinjia Chai. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Sophia Dean Meglio. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Alexandra Espinoza. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Pierre Fajardo. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Etienne George. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Nicoletta Giannoclas. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Catherine Godoy. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Yiming Huang. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Alexandra Hunt. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Jenna Inzetta. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Christy Evangeli Jerem. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. Tracy Johnson. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Fine Arts. S.I. Yun Lee. Bachelor of Fine Arts. 
Fine Arts Xian Lian Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Cheng Suan Liu Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Morgan Mian Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Francisco Melendez Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Ariel Navarrete Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Karini Padilla Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Amanda Paz Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Anna Rodriguez Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Idris Salam Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Gabriela Santana Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Jennifer Tavares Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Faringes Yusupova Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts Jeanette Tabelli Associates in Applied Science Fine Arts Yerali Serrano Associate in Applied Science and Bachelor of Fine Arts Fine Arts By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of New York and the trustees of the State University of New York, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon all of you who have completed our requirements the Associate in Applied Science degree and Baccalaureate degree respectively with all of its rights and privileges. Congratulations. It is now my pleasure to recognize you as FIT alumni by asking you to shift your tassel whose color represents the level of the degree that you earn today from right to left, and you are now official. Congratulations. Time to turn the tassel. All right, graduated. Onward and upward, congratulations. Woohoo! Yes, you did it! Congratulations! All that hard work paid off. Congratulations! Congratulations, guys. We love you very much. You made it. Please stay in touch. Woohoo! Yeah! Congratulations! Congratulations! Woohoo! May all your dreams come true. Congratulations. You made it. You should be so proud. Woo! Oh.